This here seems like a fun game. Who wants to be a murderer? I've seen Breaking Bad. I've seen the show You. I've seen a little bit of Dexter. I don't want to be a murderer. But we're going to see if I was a murderer, would I get away with it? Hello, you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all, to the Twisted Spectacular Show. What? Today, my dear viewers, we have the most intriguing cast of characters lined up for your, for your entertainment. <gasps> but enough for me. Let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? Slow it down. And now, for the bustling metamorphosis, war warruses, orphans, we welcome Sarah Thompson. Hey. Hooray, Sarah Thompson. Brother, I cannot. Let's, let's have. Okay, hello? From the concrete jungle of New York. Richard Greystone, a man whose legal powers is matched by only his... Let the games begin. Next up, straight from the unknown, is skill with determination, our wildcard participants... Greedy folks! And of course, our final contestant needs an introduction. Hailing from the foggy streets of London, where whispers of the oculate echo throughout the night. Jack the Ripper! Oh, Edgar. Oh, hold on. And there you have it, dear viewers. Our Molly, no, Motley crew of contestants. Ready to do battle in this arena? So sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a journey into the heart of madness. Let the games begin. And may the odds forever be in your favor. This is where I separate the wheat from the ch chaff. I... <laughs> Don't auto skip. In this round, your gray matter will be put to the test, and every correct answer will swell your coffers by a handsome tw ten, 10 bands. 10 bands? Swear. Now, without further ado, let's delve into the depths of the unknown, shall we? Next up, question What is the name of the psychi psych psychiatric hospital in New Jersey that once housed notorious criminals and patients deemed unfit for society? Arkham Asylum. Lock it in. Final answer. I'm joking. Trenton? And the answer is... I'm dead. Wallahi. I'm cooked. Over book is Saint Asylum, where sanity checks out and the madness checks in. Remember, folks, admission is free, but the screams will cost you. What is the phenomenon known as when a corpse appears to move or grow hair after death? Necrophilia? I'm joking. I don't know. What's up, Richard? If you, Richard, if you know this, brother... I don't know. I say that, yeah, I just said the word necrophilia. <laughs> I'm not one to talk. Dead moves, rigor mortis. That that sounded not good to say. All right, let's see, does he know? Terminal lucidity. And the answer is wrong. Cadaveric spasms, also called post-mortem spasms, can sometimes cause the appearance of movement or hair growth in a corpse after death. Fun facts, Sarah. Damn, shoddy, you're up. One notorious cult leader orchestrated a series of brutal murders in the late 1960s, including actress Sharon Tate. The answers are David Corish, Marshall Applewhite, Jim Jones, Charles Manson. Bro, how do y'all know this? Nah, chat, y'all weird, bro. Good look, Sarah. To your turn, Edgar. What is the name of the mysterious phenomenon in which groups of people exhibit it collective hysterical them. behavior? Often lead to outbreaks of irrational behavior or violence. An outbreak. A crash out. No pussy. What? Mass hyena. Mass hysteria. It has to be. If only that was me. Mass hysteria where the only thing more contagious than laughter is fear. Keep calm and carry on unless everyone around you is losing their minds. That concludes our first round of mind-bending questions, folks. And with that, we'll be taking a short break for our sponsors. But don't wander off, my lovelies. G-Subs, code Joy at checkout. When we return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Well, except when it comes to the mini game. With a knife, of course. This guy is scary, man. My dear contestants, we are off the air for now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. I could, whoa, I could move? 
Hey man, with a knife game coming up, who knows what will happen. I hear Sarah is not handling it too well, makes you wonder if she'll make it through in one piece. I hope we all make it through in one piece. What's up, Edgar? Speak to me. God! Thank you. Ready for the knife game? Just, remem just remember to take it slow and steady. So like I'm stroking it, okay. What's up, shoddy? I don't know if I could do this, I'm scared. What if I mess up, what if I get hurt? You're stronger than you think. Holy fucking D1 Glazer here. You're stronger than you think, Sarah. This game might be tough, but we'll get... But we'll through it together. Yep, makes sense. You really think so? Okay, let's do this. So you're ready to continue or do you need another moment? I think I'm ready. Slow and steady. Kill Sarah. Richard will fumble. I'm ready. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping tip. Snowy's Wish, an intense boss battle to the last snowball against Santa Claus himself. Yours to enjoy absolutely free. I don't care. Now it's time for our first mini game of the evening, where the contestants' courage will be put to the test. Let's see if they have what it takes to handle a little knife play. It's gonna be that I got all my fingers. They go chop chop. Bro, I used to do this shit all the time in high school. With a pencil, of course. Because this will have 30 seconds to score as many points as possible. They must touch the table with the tip of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. And then in the time of the contestants will with the lowest score will be the first to face elimination. Let the games begin. What, what do I press? Ah! Fuck! It's okay. Ah! Fuck! Who needs a thumb? Wallahi! Wallahi! I'm out of here! The first elimination. The unfortunate soul who will be bidding us adieu tonight is none other than... Yep, right here. You know, if I'm ever held in a trial to prove myself innocent for for a murder, I'll just show this goddamn gameplay. I don't know shit about murdering. I'm gonna start from the top again. All right, skip all this. We're this. Joe Goldberg. Here's the question: Which infamous cult leader orchestrated the mass suicide of his followers in J Jonestown? Why ya? Is it Charles again? Jim Jones, bro. I don't know if y'all are just like quick at googling or y'all are just twisted. That is crazy. All right, I'll leave the murder questions to you guys. I'll do the gameplay. What is the name of a mysterious forest in Romania known as the most haunted forest in the world? The answers are... <laughs> the Hoya Bakuya Forest. All right, I, I, I got it, I'm locked in. What is the medical term for the fear of being buried alive? Coffin phobia. Tapophobia? What is that? You're getting scared to get tapped? Not claustrophobia. It's either C or A. There's no way it's claustrophobia. Stupid. Tapophobia. Tap tapahope. Tap Tapophobia? Let the games begin. Here we go. Lock in. Ah! ah! Yeah, Sarah, you're fucking cooked. I won that shit. I locked in. The unfortunate soul who will be bidding us adieu tonight is no one other. Richard. Later, dick. Tough shit, pal. Don't know what I tell you. Darwin's evolution. He can't really be dead, can he? Those screams sent chills down my spine. Sarah, fucking... Now the game truly begins. Look at Edgar. The biggest fucking con artist here. Look at him. Let's continue with the show. We're diving straight into our second round of questions. Okay, I'm ready. Where the contestants' moral fire we put under the microscope for us, for all to see. Every answer in this round will earn you $10,000. So feel free to speak your mind. Let's see who will rise to the occasion and who will falter under the weight of their own conscience. Get ready for some thought-provoking question, folks. Joe Goldberg. Here's the question. You find a diary detailing someone's darkest secrets. What is your next move? Move? Move. Wait, read it out loud on a live stream. That's the best fucking option ever. Someone PO box me their, their diary. 
You're offered a dangerous job in exchange for wealth. What is your choice? The answers are embrace the risk for wealth, negotiate for improved safety, prioritize safety and decline, dive into danger with no precautions. Damn it, D, lock it in, Sarah. Goody two shoes, yep. Ultimate power is yours, but you lose your humanity. What's your decision? Will only sacrifice humanity, embrace darkness for power. Reject power, value humanity, accept with conditions. I'm gonna be honest, but I'm not even surprised. I mean, like, look at you. You're wearing a fucking turtleneck. You're wearing a blazer. You probably use that power to fucking force a, I don't know, a doctor to fix that clapped hairline of yours. Power without humanity, a tantalizing offer for the bold and heartless. All right, folks, that wraps up the second round of questioning. And in my mind, we have peeled back some layers and the foreskin. Now we've got a glimpse of the real deal. They size each other up, and believe me, they're sharpening their claws for what's to come. The voting phase is up next. Stay tuned. After the short break, we'll reveal the two finalists of the Twisted Little Game. And for you out there watching at home, don't forget to call our toll-free number to join us in the studio's audience for the next episode. There's always a need for fresh faces. Voting! I didn't sign up for this. The shadows deepen. God, okay, Edgar. Bro, you're not fucking Kingpin. This ain't no fucking Marvel show. And then Sarah, quit your bitching, dude. It seems we're off the air for now. If you need to know when we're back, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Heard. We'll go to Sarah in a bit. I want to get a reading on Edgar. I think Edgar is too confident. Like I said, like I said, watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare com commodity in these parts. Vice versa. Watch your back. Sarah, how you doing? I can't believe I misjudged you. I thought you were better than this. Oh, boo-hoo. We have fucking starlight from the boys here. Sarah. It look, literally looks like her. What's up, dude? I think we're ready. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Heard. Welcome back, folks. We're live again. Ah. I know who this guy reminds me of. Puffer. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping advice. A small arcade shooter where you're trapped in a time loop and battle against your past don't care. It's time to introduce our next phase, the voting round. Here's how it works. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be eliminated. The contestant with the most votes will be out of the game. Sarah, Edgar. I feel like it is obvious who we need to vote out here. Edgar. Now to avoid any unpleasant deadlock situation where everyone gets a vote, in that case, all participants will be eliminated and there will be no winner. So think carefully, including who you, who you believe others might vote for. All right, let's get down to it. Joe, who are you voting for? Sarah is disappointed in me. We're in a fucking show where murdering is involved. Edgar is saying, watch my back. Trust is a commodity. Sarah hates that I lied to her. Sarah will vote me out, I believe. I'm th I might be thinking a bit too hard here. Maybe Edgar was saying, watch your back, but in a loving way. What if he's like, he's giving off unk vibes? What if he sees a younger me or a younger him and me? And if he votes me, at least we get fucking Sarah out. You know, like Sarah's so annoying. I don't know if Edgar has a vendetta against me. Edgar gave me advice. He said, go slow and steady for the knife game. I gave Sarah advice of like, hey, you're strong. You got this. And then she said, go fuck yourself. Get the fuck out of here. Now, Sarah, who are you voting for? I need some time to think. We all know what she's thinking. Edgar. That's my boy right there. That's Unk. Finally, no more fucking crying down my neck. All right, folks, we're getting closer to the grand final finale of this show. And that means the questions are getting a bit more serious. It's time to put on my game face. No, no more, more Mr. Mr. Nice guy. guy. Each correct answer in this final round will earn you a whopping 25 bands. But enough chit chat. Let's dive right into the last round of questions. Let's hear it. Joe Goldberg, questions up. How long can a human survive without oxygen before experiencing irreversible brain damage? <sighs> Let's find out! <gasps> oh! Where's 30 seconds? Three to five minutes? Did it David Blaine? Hold on, hold on! 17 minutes. Plug kind of weird, but he's chill. You know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I could last 20 minutes. I think seven I think seven to 10 just makes the most sense. David Blaine's an anomaly. 
He doesn't count. That is not a human fucking being. Let's see how long I can hold my breath for, man. It's not about holding your breath. Motherfucker. Holding breath, not taking oxygen? What's the difference? You know what? Never mind. All right. Three to five. Let's see. What is the difference of having no oxygen around, okay, and going underwater? Water has oxygen. Chat. God, you're a fucking genius. I forgot you're a Poseidon. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh my god! I should have gone my gut! Seven ten minutes is the silent countdown to oblivion. Suffocation, dance with death. Edgar, bro, we need Edgar to fumble this. Oh my god, I know Edgar's the boy. He had my back, he voted for Sarah. I know he's a fucking boy, but I need Edgar to fumble this. What is the esteemed time it takes for a human body to complete de decomposing soil? I think. Let me see the options. It's gotta be three to five. No, there we go. I think one to two. I'm like debating this shit like I'm the one answering. Edgar, fumble. Edgar. Way to fucking go, Edgar. Way to go. Six to eight years is nature's embrace. Human bodies return to dust erased by time's relentless march all right folks it's time for our last commercial break before the grand finale our two finalists will engage in a duel filled with thrills and spills and real blood blast blah, 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 blah. of entertainment <laughs> my dear contestants this is your last chance to catch your breath <sighs> it's okay i'm cool dude hope you're all handy with a rifle is, is, is that a saying is that an analogy i'm sorry but you can't escape the inevitable good luck edgar Good luck to you too, man. I'm just saying, I weigh 210 now. I've been going to the gym, I'm looking kind of slim. You, my friend, you're a hitbox, fucking A. You're a fucking Samsung refrigerator. Yeah, I'm ready. Look at this, sleight of hand, Black Ops 1, perk. You know what I'm saying? I'm so cooked. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. We're about to find out. Bro, you know what's so insane? At the beginning of this game, I was so fucking tired. I thought this game was gonna be ass. Look at me. I'm standing up. I'm about to do some fucking squats. Five gifts and I'll turn around. Psych, you fucking hornballs. Lock it in. We know what your motive is, brother. That's crazy. Before we dive back in, here's a last shopping tip. Minesweeper! Finally a good fucking sponsor! Minesweeper Reborn. A modern rendition of classic Minesweeper with an updated graphics and new gameplay mode. And guess what? It's absolutely free. This guy's not fucking joking. This is the real deal. Made with Unity. Reborn. Medium. I could do hard if I really wanted to. What the fuck is this? I mean, who's the fool paying us to promote these, right? Dog, he just dissed Minesweeper. Oh, hell no. Nah. Ladies and gentlemen, an esteemed finalist, perhaps by now you've grasped the essence and purpose of this spectacle. In the initial phase of questioning, we tested our contestants' knowledge, then their courage, and the knife mini okay. In the second phase of questioning and in the voting, we probed... Excuse me? Oh my god! There's a wire coming out of my butt! We probed the morality of the players and the coldness required to choose to eliminate another individual. In the final phase of questioning, we assessed whether you know the method. And if you made it here, you have all the cards on the table to be true murderers. There's just one final step to truly define yourselves as such. Action. And so, in this last phase, you'll be armed with a rifle and 30 seconds of time. Whoever manages to take out the most people from the audience will be the new champion. It ain't personal, chap! It ain't fucking personal! Let the- Why is the audience clapping? Okay. Boom! 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 I get it! I'm joking. Power! 
Fire! All right, folks, it's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. This game show got to be hosted in Texas. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to our brave contestants for their um, valiant effort. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say our murderer, is none other than... Oh, boo-hoo! Oh, my God. But remember, this victory isn't just about prizes. It's about the journey, the thrill of the hunts, the adrenaline rush of the kill. And let's not forget the sweet, intoxicating scent of blood in the air. <sighs> Listerine? So without further ado, let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of... Damn! A hollow victory? What the fuck? So for bringing my A game to the fucking table, I get a hollow victory? How do I get a non-hollow victory? I want to make my victory, you know, more meaningful. I should have played classical music while killing the people in the crowd. Maybe keep Sarah alive? Oh, maybe. Maybe I do keep Sarah alive. Should we try it again? I'm kind of down. Sarah! We can find a way out. Listen, Sarah, if you're not up to this, we can find a way out. This game isn't worth risking hurting you. Joe Goldberg, I think, I think I need to get out of here. Yes, it's probably best if you leave. If I convince her to run, she will get gunned down. I'm just, I'm, I'm assuming this, because, you know, I mean, look what we're doing here. Hate it when they leave, but love to see them walk away. Guys, I was just giving her some advice. What's going on? Who? Who shot her? Sarah will be un unable to continue the games due to an unforeseen circumstance. With one consider eliminated, we have to skip our first mini game, a bleats reluctantly. Interesting. Where are the contestants? Moral fiber. Yep, we already know. You, when is a stranger being harassed in public? What action do you take? Let's go down the justice path. Intervene to defend the stranger. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh, interesting. What can I say? To be a hero or a bystander? That is the question. Time to reveal your true self. Richard, here's your moment. A colleague takes credits for your work. How do you address the situation? Let go focus a bit of work. Spread the false rumors about your colleague. Take credit for their work too. Discuss commonly with your colleague. D. He's gonna pick D. Spread false rumors about your colleague. Crazy. He wants a crime and offered a large sum of money to remain silent. What is your response? That is the most easiest fucking answer ever. I feel like everybody that just has common sense will take the fucking money and run away. Demand more money? Okay, let's not be fucking greedy. Refuse to bribe and do nothing. Report the crime to the authorities. B was accept the cash or remain silent. What the fuck? What a fucking loser. To speak or to profit from silence? A morale quandary ripe for manipulation and deceit. All right, folks, that wraps up the second round of questioning. And my, 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 have we peeled back some layers and the foreskin. So it's coming out to this, huh? Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestant? Richard seems naive, gullible. I think we say yes here, no? Look at him. Homeboy's barely hanging on. He's desperate. Let's say yes. Anchor the champ. He's in trouble for me and you. It'd be risky for you to face off with him in the final, wouldn't it? Interesting. I'd say yes and then backstab him. I'm still with it. Let's do it. You're holding on pretty well. I'm doing my best. Better buckle up then. The best is yet to come. I already came. What do you mean? Welcome back, folks. We're live again. Maybe I do want to get a three-way tie. Because then if we all die, this show is going to suck dick. That's what I'm saying. If Richard dies, I'll probably get the same ending. So... Sorry, Edgar. What is the minimum core body temperature required for human survival? Huh? 59 and 64, no. This one? Wow, chat. Y'all gotta like that. What is the term of the act for killing someone by slashing their throat horizontally from ear to ear? The Joker? I mean, these both work. Figured. 
It's just you and me and Lepa. I'm sorry I'll be the one walk away victorious. Run it. I'm ready. Okay. Yep. It's the same ending. Whatever. It's okay. You're safe. I'm done. All right. I'm done now. No, please don't do this. I'll do anything. I'll beg. Bye-bye. Murderer! I'm telling you, we could have gone a, a different ending there. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed run. I'm gonna speed run. So now I vote Richard. Edgar votes me. And Richard votes Edgar. And what will the host do? Richard. And here I thought we were fucking cooking. What is the last ending? Dead, hollow victory, murderer. Yeah, I'll look it up. Should we say we can find a way out, but then not convince her to run? No, I don't think we should do you're stronger. Cause then I did you're stronger. And then she said, oh, you're a fucking liar. I think we do, we can find a way out. No, hang in there. Okay, thank you, let's do this. You see what I mean? Sarah, you better fucking win. It's me and you to the end. For love! Oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, they tied! What does that mean? That's sexist! What is that? On Women's Month! We can find a way out. No, hang in there. I'm ready. Alright, Sarah, do not choke this. If she ties again, then it's fucking fate. It's skill issue. Tell her she's strong. Wait, y'all are so right. Cause last time I told her she was strong and she she survived. Oh my god, what am I doing? All right, lock in, lock in. You're stronger than you think, Sarah. Your ass is fat. Don't worry about it. Sorry, I don't understand. Siri, I was not talking to you. Yo. It doesn't matter. She's dead. She's dead. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna run it from the top. This, this is the last time we're gonna do this shit. <laughs> You're that fucking guy. Uh. No! No! Oh my god! She's getting worse each game. Actual side character. Get this shit off my fucking screen. It, it's just her fate. I feel bad. I, I made her relive that fate so many fucking times. Uh, who wants to be a murderer? Fourth ending. Different dialogue. This is. Man. Yeah. All right. Upon. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we got the last. Okay. No different dialogue. This is all the same here. And. What? I like your style. Tell you what, how about a little arrangement? Wait, this is a different ending. I'll start your timer 10 seconds after your opponent. And oh, let's add a little twist. I'll make sure your opponent rifle is, let's say, not at its best. <laughs> oh, he's about to jam his gun. My gameplay. Just a little advice to even out the odds, eh? Yep, accept the deal. What? Excellent choice, my friend. Now let's. Uh, wow, bro. I almost got everyone. Oh my goodness, bro! I almost got everyone. He got ten kills. Brother, so excited for just committing murder. Yeah, he gotta go. Please be a different indie. So we win again. That's crazy, cause we we literally had that ending, but the time I did it, the host didn't ask me to jam the guy's gun. Whatever, I'm over it. All right, I, I tried to get every ending, fucking impossible. I, I gave Sarah so many fucking get out of jail free cards, but she just her her, her mindset wasn't in the fucking game. She didn't want to. Well, she's my C, but she threw it. Well, you hella saucy. Did you stew it? Wonder what it cost me. I threw some shoes in. Ice be on my body. I'm never proven.